Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we just created this add or change address part of my online shopping project. If you are not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to write the code for this change security question. So let us start with that. Here we are. And first thing is we just need to connect uh, like change. We already have a change security question dot JSP page. So we just need to connect this page to the change details header. So here we just need to write change security question. Okay. Dot GSP page. Let's save this. After that, we have to move to the add, add change address or JSP and copy this full line of the code to add security uh, change security questions. Okay. After that, uh, just uh, let's uh, move here and let's refresh this page and we will move to the change security question. Uh, question. Here you can see your security question successfully changed and your password is wrong. Here you can see the two messages and here you can see the options. And here we have to insert input fields. So let's uh, go for it. So first we are going to write the code for to hide these messages and only visible whenever the condition is satisfied. So let's start with that. String string msg equals to request dot get parameter. And uh, after that here we just need to write msg semicolon if then dot equals the message should be done dot equals and here we just need to write msg msg in that case we just need to display this message after that we also need to close this uh, bracket okay and uh, just copy this line of the code and paste it here after that just need delete this okay and here we just need to write wrong wrong okay and here we just need to uh, close this bracket okay you can see the error it get removed after this we just need to create a form so here we are uh, just need to start with the form tag form form and here we just need to write action equals to and here we just need to write uh, create a page first so just right click on this web content and after that we have to move to the new and JSP page and here we just writing change security question okay dot uh, okay action dot just copy this line and click on finish okay after as you can see page has been created just read this part and here again move to this page and just paste it and dot JSP okay after that we have to write the method method is post okay post and just list this tag from here and just uh, paste it at the end of this okay form after that we have to select your new security question so we have to uh, insert a combo box so select okay after that uh, here we just need to uh, insert some options so option and we also need to close this option okay and here we just need to insert the value is equals to double okay after that we have to copy this three more time one two three okay after that in the select we have to insert a class for css so input style okay after that uh, here we just need to insert the name of this uh, okay so that should be security question okay and after that we have to insert the value so we are just going to copy this and I am also going to put this uh, security question in the description so you can directly copy from that place okay just copy this and uh, values and here this okay just copy this third option and paste it here and here after that we have last okay just paste it here and also here okay after that uh, we need here a input field 
to get the answer input type is equals to and here we are taking as text okay and after that uh, we are uh, name taking as name and name should be a new answer okay after new answer placeholder is equals to enter your new answer okay after that here we just need to write required okay and one more thing we also need to add a class so class is equals to and uh, this should uh, the class should be input style okay and let's copy this line of the code add the uh, here let's paste it here and okay just close this after that we have to write uh, here password it should be the password that's what we are writing here and the name also should be password okay and in that uh, uh, in placeholder we just need to write enter password and in the brackets we are going to write for security security okay after that uh, here we have to insert a button to submit this form so button and uh, just uh, we have to insert here after that we here we just need to uh, insert a class so class equals to button and here we just need to uh, type is equals to submit submit okay now our form is ready so let's refresh here and let's check it out uh, our form is ready or not okay we forget to write save so just write here save okay and let's refresh this page again okay here you can see now we can select the security questions we can write and here you can see this is uh, password field okay after that we have to write the codes for this so before writing that just copy these two lines and here just paste that code and uh, uh, now we have to take the values from the previous page or uh, from session so first we are going to take the value from a uh, uh, session that one is our email address so session dot uh, get attribute the next uh, second option and in that we just need to write email dot to string and after that we have to take a string string security question okay equals to a request dot get parameter and here we just need to write security question okay after that we have to select the string new answer equals to request dot get parameter and here we just need to write new answer okay after that the string password password is equals to request dot get parameter equals to password okay after that here we just need to write int check check is equals to zero and here we just need to write try catch and here we just need to write uh, exception e okay after that in the try block uh, we just need to write connection con equals to connection provider dot uh, dot git con okay uh, statement st equals to con dot uh, create statement and here we just need to write result set rs equals to st dot execute query and here we just need to write select a star from users where email is equals to in single okay doubles plus plus email 
okay and here uh, and password is equals to single double okay plus password okay and here you can see the complete query selected star from user where email is equals to email this one and the password is password okay and after that we have to write uh, while condition while rs dot next okay and here we just need to write check check is equals to one and st dot execute execute update okay so here you can see uh, like uh, we are able to in it means that that user with that password is uh, available so in that case we will update this uh, security uh, question and as well as answer in our database so and we are checking that check equals to one it means that the password is correct and if the value is still zero after this code it means that the password is wrong so according to that we will send the response okay update users set security question is equals to single double okay after that plus plus security question and i uh, sorry answer is equals to plus answer okay where email is equals to single double plus plus email okay and this is our query at the end we also need to insert the semicolon after that uh, here we just need to write the response response dot send redirect okay in this we just need to write change security question dot gsp question mark ms msg g equals to done okay and uh, after that we have to insert the semicolon and okay we are getting a error here so let's check it out why we are getting error so here okay we don't have any answer so we have a new answer so just uh, write that new answer okay after that here we just need to write if condition if check is zero zero it means that the password is incorrect and uh, we just need to copy this line and here just paste it and with change the message that is wrong okay let's save this and let's refresh this page again and now we have to select this one by one we already have selected what was your first car so this and uh, here i'm just writing audi after that the my password is one two three so I'm, right now i'm going to write one two three four okay let's try with that and uh, your password is wrong we are getting the message it does not check this to inserting updating this and it's showing only message this let's go for the uh, uh, we are setting here the security question so i'm going to change my security question to this after that enter your new answer so i'm just writing tom and the, our password is one two three so just click on save your security question successfully changed let's open the database and let's check it out it's uh, working fine or not we are able to insert successfully or not just check it out one two three four five six our uh, database password okay use online shopping gsp okay after that select start from users okay and here you can see what was uh, what is the name of your first pet tom uh, you can see it's correct so this is all about change security question part of my online shopping project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you